you all for coming. We really appreciate you coming out to spend part of your Sunday with us. This is the Ohio Northern Gospel Ensemble. I'm Adrian Bradshaw. Thank you so much. We've come, obviously, to celebrate God. Yeah. Uh, we've come specifically to recognize 26 years of God's faithfulness to this gospel ensemble here at Ohio Northern. And this was advertised as a concert, and it is sort of, but more than that, what it's really meant to be is a time of praise. And how many know that the Bible commands us to praise God? Yeah. That's a command, it's not, it's not a suggestion, it's a command. How many know that it commands us to sing praises to God? Are you aware of that? Psalm 104 says, I will sing to the Lord all my life. I will sing praise to my God as long as I live. May my meditation be pleasing to him as I rejoice in the Lord. Psalm 147 says, praise the Lord. How good it is to sing praises to our God. How pleasant and how fitting to praise him. And I could go on and on because there are lots of verses about singing praise to God. I'm going to move along though because we've got a long program for you today. So. Um, so anyway, we've come to lead you in praise tonight. We didn't come to perform for you, okay? So please understand that, and gospel music, I think, is particularly um, good for praising God in song because it's not meant to be a spectator sport. It's really audience participatory. So All right. we ask you to get into this thing with us, and you praise God however you feel comfortable doing that. But we're going to give you an opportunity tonight to, to be obedient to God and to praise Him in song. So sing along, um, clap your hands, pat your feet. Um, we've got lots of wonderful music tonight for you. Um, I'm going to turn the mic over now to Christopher Jordan, who's going to give us our opening prayer. Let's go before the morning prayer. Gracious kind Father, we thank you, oh God, once again for the opportunity to be able to come and to sing praises unto you, your holy and righteous name. Oh God, we ask that you would just bless this concert. We thank you once again for 26 years, oh God. Oh God, a milestone that um, we are just so grateful for. We're so grateful for the vision that has been birthed and we're so grateful to see what has been able to transpire down through the years. Lord God, we ask that you would just bless, the, bless, oh God, this concert, bless every song that is sung, bless every note that is sung, bless every note that is played, oh God. We ask that you would just come in, rest over everyone in this place, oh God. Allow your presence to just saturate this place so that we will not leave this place the same, oh God. That whatever need that needs to be met, that it will be met at the conclusion of this concert. That if there's healing that needs to take place, healing can take place. If there's deliverance that needs to take place, deliverance can take place. We're so grateful for it. We're so thankful for it. We believe because you are a God that can do anything but fail. We're so grateful to have you once again this opportunity and we ask all these blessings and we count them all done in Jesus precious name amen 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 okay I know you have a written program but I want to go over a couple of things before we get started um, you may have received when you came in along with the program which is an orange sheet a white sheet which is a survey let me explain a little bit about what's going on. Um, in addition to being a staff member here at Ohio Northern, I'm also a PhD student at Bowling Green State University. And my dissertation, which I've just begun um, writing, I'm on chapter one, um, is, <laughs> is um, my topic is um, the role of race in the delivery and reception of gospel music. And so, I've pa we've passed out these surveys, and I am not compelling you to, but if you are of a mind to participate and to um, help me with my research, part of that is the survey that you have with you. So as you are, and, I, and I'm, I'm hoping that this is not going to be a distraction for you as you are partaking in the music tonight, but at some point before you leave, if you would be willing to fill out that survey and leave that for us on the back table, that would really help a lot with the research that I'm trying to do in this area. So I thank you for that. Um, 
Part of what we've done in preparation for this concert is to be in workshop uh, the last two days over the weekend with a guest director from Toledo, Ohio, who you will meet shortly, and there's information about him on the program. And so um, Ohio Northern Gospel Ensemble and Bolivia Missionary Baptist Church Choir from Lima came together in workshop with, um, with Reverend Chris Bird, and uh, we had a wonderful time, and so we're gonna share that with you on um, the second half of the program. Um, while I'm here, I'd like to um, ask the pastor of Philippian Missionary Baptist Church if he would stand and be recognized and thank him for allowing us to be here. And now, I need to um, also ask to stand and be recognized the president of our university, uh, President Dan DiBiasio is in the back, and First Lady Chris DiBiasio. And I should mention, as part of the choir, the First Lady of uh, Philippian Missionary Baptist Church is here also, um, Ms. Teresa Walker, which is And the Philippian choir is sprinkled in through the audience, and you'll meet them in a little bit. They're going to be up here very shortly. We're going to start with Ohio Northern, though, and um, Ohio Northern's Gospel Ensemble is one of the outreach teams from the Religious Life Program, and I guess I should have our chaplain recognized as well, since he's uh, over the chapel, and we're one of the outreach teams that goes out. Chaplain, would you stand? And his wife is with him as well. And we travel to churches throughout Ohio. Um, most times, at least twice a month, we go out. This, this was a very active group, so sometimes we went out like almost every week. My church was wondering where I was all the time. I was on the road driving a van with this group. But um, so what we're, what we're going to do now uh, at the beginning of this program is just sort of a sample of how we minister when we go out on Sunday mornings with the congregations. So, and then we're going to ask um, Philippian to come up and join us for a song, and then we'll hear from Philippian. And then we have a, um, a special selection by, I'm calling them the Jays. It's um, two brother and sister sets. Uh, the Jordans and the Joneses are going to uh, bless us with a special selection. So, and then at that point, it doesn't say this in your program, but we are going to have an intermission at that point, okay? So that people have a chance to refresh. And then the second half of the program, we'll, we will introduce Reverend Bird and we'll bring up the workshop choir next that we will finish out our time together this evening. Hope that you enjoy it. Hope that you'll be able to hang around. We've got lots of good food ordered for reception afterwards so that we have a chance to mingle and to fellowship. And once again, we thank you so much for, for coming. I'm going to turn the mic over at this point to Lauren. I believe, right? Good evening. Saying good morning. My name is Lauren Frame. I'm a sophomore here at Ohio Northern. I'm a biology major um, and I'm aiming to be an occupational therapist. And the first song we're going to sing for you is called More Than Any. Or, no, just kidding. Lord, have your way. Woo! Been a long day. Um, a word for the Lord. I can't even. I can just stop now while I'm ahead. <laughs> it's called A Word from the Lord. Um, and this song is a really great song. And the verse I picked um, goes right along with it. And I'm probably not going to be able to open my Bible. Thanks, Marcia. Okay, Jeremiah 29 11 says, For surely I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, plans for your welfare and not for harm, to give you a future with hope. And the words in this song are basically what the verse I just read says. And so I hope that you enjoy the song, and I hope it'll be a great way to start the concert. <laughs>
My name is Jared Amstutz. I am a senior religion major. Um, the next song selection we're going to sing is called My Mind Is Made Up. And this song is one of my favorites. Um, the reason why it's my favorite is because no matter how we try to fill things in our lives, nobody can do for us like what God can do for us. No matter what we just, no, no matter how we try to fill it, no matter who we choose to fill it, no matter what we choose to fill it, not, nothing can fill it. We, if you choose God, then your mind is made up on that. And I think this song really, really says that. So. Okay, so the main part of this song is, it says, Lord, have your way. 
in this holy temple. And for me, that temple is twofold. It's not only the building that we're worshiping here, right? Whether it's the upstairs of an activity center on campus or a church or a backyard or anything. Um, we want the Lord to have His way in that temple, in our worship, and we want that to be seen. But also, we want the Lord to have His way in the temple as our body. Our body is a temple. And uh, this verse is from Ephesians 2. It's verse 10. For we are God's workmanship, created in Christ Jesus, to do good works, which God has prepared in advance for us to do. So, God already knows what we're going to do. We just have to allow Him to come into our temple and, and do it. Um, so this is Lord have your way.
ensemble to introduce themselves so that you know who they all are. And while we're doing that, Philippian, would you prepare to come up for this next song? So can you start moving this way for a little bit? Um, I'm Christopher Jordan. I am a senior religion major with a minor in business, and I'm originally from Cincinnati, Ohio. I'm from Lima, Ohio, and I am a third year music education, music performance major. I am Haley Warshbale. I am a senior criminal justice major. Hi, my name is Alexandria Jordan. I am a sophomore music performance major. Hi, my name is Holly Kearney, and I'm from Portsmouth, Ohio. I'm a fifth year pharmacy major. My name is Alexis Klefficker. I'm from Fort Wayne, Indiana, and I'm also a fifth year pharmacy student. My name is Kweku Afrika, senior bio pre -med. Hello, my name is Marcia McMunn. I'm an admissions counselor at Ohio Northern. I'm Carolyn Mangan. I am a senior marketing and communications double major. And I'm Ladavia Peavy from Chicago, Illinois, a junior university major. Hi, I'm Brandon Thacker. I'm a second year pharmacy student from South Memphis, Ohio. And the next song we're going to see is called More Than Anything. And the verse that I want to read from is Romans 8, 37 through 39. Know in all these things we are common, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, nor angels nor rulers, nor things present nor things to come, nor powers nor height nor depth.